on! Sino, what are you doing? Helping you fulfill your purpose. Your ambitions. You belong to Mayrun's Dagon. Oh. What happened? No! Sina! Damn it! Damn her! Zaina betrayed us and cast us into the spider nest. It's a dungeon beneath her sanctuary. She sends her enemies here to die. But we aren't her enemies. She saved my life many times. If she'd wanted to hurt me, she could have done so long ago. Why turn against me now? I don't want to believe that. But I heard what she said too. And she completely drained my energy. I can't call upon my power until it recharges. We need to find a way out of here. We need to get to Kalia and Destron before Zyna turns them over. First things first. I need to restore my power. Let me think. Zyna told me about an old foe she destroyed, tossed them into this place and kept their skull as a trophy. It may hold enough energy to recharge my power immediately. the residual energy. Hold the skull toward me, please. While my power finishes recharging, take a look at what I found. I left it over there. All right, I'm ready. Follow me. We have to stop Zyna. Attack! She's doing something to the twins! Too late. Lord Dagon will reward me for securing the Destron. twins. You deal with Zyna! The ambitions belong to Lord Dagon. Their power is for him alone!
understood the nature of the ambition. us to Mehrun's Dagon. Sombrin, how could you bring us to this... this monster? She wasn't like this. I, I didn't know. Destron, help me open a portal. Like Sombrin showed us on the hilltop. This wasn't how it was supposed to turn out. Zaina, she never gave me any indication that she was going to betray us. That she was involved in our creation and wanted to sacrifice us to Mehrun's Dagon. At least the Twin Stone appeared to be in an imminent danger of exploding. Let me take another look at Zaina's contracts. Yes, it's here. Zaina used a holy book to show Von Dacia how to create the Four Ambitions. Could it have been the Mysterium Xarxis? She was always loyal to Dagon. She never wanted to help us at all. Hopefully, they're either still locked in a vault or wandering free like I was. I hate to think that Vondasia captured them while we were busy elsewhere. I'm... I'm not sure what we should do next, my friend. It's beginning to seem hopeless. I hope you're right, but I can't see a way ahead from here. If all else fails, we'll destroy ourselves before we let Dagon win. We're the keys to unlock the barriers between here and the Deadlands. We can't allow ourselves to fall into his hands. Kali and Destron. They have no reason to trust me. Not anymore. But I'll still protect them. And somehow, I'll find a way to earn their trust again. I'm sorry. I had no idea Zaina meant to betray us. She wanted to kill us in some way. Destron, Zaina betrayed Sombrin too. Because he was stupid enough to trust her. I will make this right. I promise. Let's return to the temple. We shouldn't be discussing this in the street. <laughs> Gideon, you return at a grim moment, mercenary. While you were gone, word reached us that the Waking Flame is gathering an army. I fear it will soon march on Gideon. But Evely said you took the ambitions to learn about their powers. Did you succeed? We are all in danger. At least you kept the ambitions safe. I thank you for that. Concerning the cult, Evely and I have made plans, but first, I want you to have this. 
compensation for the work you have done up to this point on Blackwood's behalf. The Order of the Waking Flame has cast a net around Gideon. Von Dacia is gathering an army, including guards from the garrison who were loyal to him all along. He knows the ambitions were here, and that they have now returned. No, the city is no place for a battle. When foes surround you, it is wise to put your back spines to a tree. We will move the ambitions to Fort Redmayne. The Imperials abandoned it years ago, but my Blackfin Legion has been restoring its defenses. No, I have another task for you. Summon what allies you can to Fort Redmayne to help defend the ambitions. I sent my Legion ahead, but I fear we will need more warriors. Before you go, tell the Ambitions what we are doing and why. They trust you. Tell the Ambitions we will defend them with our lives. Just not here, where so many civilians could be endangered. Let us use Fort Redmayne as the tree against our backs. Evely will see the Ambitions safely to the fort. Talk to her before you go. Tell the ambitions no army of crazed cultists is going to sacrifice them on our watch. But try not to alarm them, which might be tricky. Hmm. After I send out the call for allies, I'll escort Sombrin and the twins to Port Redmayne. Right. Anyone with an army that can help us. You head to Leowin. I'm sure Captain Rianne would be happy for the Ivory Brigade to lend a hand. Beyond that... What about anyone else you helped here in Blackwood? Anyone have any soldiers they can spare? If that's the case, just alert Captain Rianne after you talk to the Ambitions. Then head directly to Fort Redmayne. But if you have the time, go help some people. The fate of the world's at stake. Someone may join up in exchange for a good deed. Tell Sombrin and the twins I'll be with them shortly. I have a few more details to work out with the Governor. After that, go see Captain Rianne and then meet me at Fort Redmayne. But don't take too long. I'd rather you were there when the cult attacks. going on, isn't it? Seems like every Blackfin Legionnaire is in a hurry today. Let me guess. Fondacia is coming for us again. I know the place. It's an old Imperial garrison, isn't it? I passed by it during my travels after Varen's forces released me from my vault. A fort is more defensible than Gideon anyway. I see the logic. But aren't you coming with us? I swear to protect the twins in your absence. I took Zaina at her word, and it nearly cost Kalia and Destron their lives. I'll die before I put them in danger again.
Mercenary, you have news? That explains the reports I received from my scouts. Increased and flagrant waking flame activity in the countryside around Gideon. I take it Vondasia knows the ambitions are there? Governor Keshu is wise. Gideon isn't as defensible as Leowin. A battle inside the city limits will cause untold damage and deaths among the common folk. Very well, mercenary. The Ivory Brigade will stand with the Black Finn Legion. I'll rally the Ivory Brigade here in Leowin, and we'll meet you at Fort Redmayne. We'll stop Vondasia and his cultists. We have to. You play the army you're dealt, right? Or march with the army you have? I'm terrible at metaphors. A solid fort at our backs, brave soldiers at our side. Now we just need to wait for Vandacia and his cultists to show up. If we're being totally honest, I'm as nervous as the last leaf on the tree on the final day of fall. 
I'm a walk in the woods, loose an arrow at your back, fade into the trees kind of adventurer. An all-out war? That's not my style. Right. No guarantees in war. Still, it makes me feel better to know I'll have you fighting with me. And the Legionnaires and Brigadines, of course. Anyway, let's get to it. Talk to Governor Keshu and see what she thinks will do the most good. This old fort's in decent shape. The Black Fins have done a great job with the renovations. Like a storm drawing near, Vandacia's forces come. Time to take our places. I will command the outer defenses. Captain Rian and his brigadines will protect the gate. We will do our best to keep the cultists from getting past us and into the fort. I want you inside the fort near the guardhouse. That's where we'll place the ambitions for safekeeping. It will be up to you to deal with any cultists that get past us, until we can send soldiers to assist you. And remember, they have portal magic. I expect a two-pronged assault. The bulk of Vandacia's forces will attack the gate, while a smaller group uses portals to get inside. Portal magic is difficult. They could never move an entire army that way. Hence, we must defend from all directions. Brigadines, take your positions! The enemy could arrive at any time! Evely, take the ambitions to the guardhouse! Blackfin Legion, to me! Any sign of Vandacia's forces, Captain Rian? I just received word. The Waking Flame has arrived. And they have portal mages with them. Evely, take the ambitions to the guardhouse. I'll protect them. You stay here and defend the courtyard. Courtyard Lieutenant. Mercenary, go check on the ambitions. Portals, just as we feared. At least they can't transport overwhelming forces in that manner. Go check on the guardhouse. Make sure Evely and the ambitions are secure. Positive. With the added brigadines the Lieutenant brought us, we'll be able to hold the courtyard. It's the ambitions that concern me now. Get to the guardhouse and stay with them. 
Enemies could emerge from portals at any moment. My scouts tell me we closed the gate just in time. It appears the Waking Flame used magic to conceal their approach. The Black Finn Legion is holding them back, but you should make sure the ambitions are safe. I need to make sure we hold the battlements. Deal with any other portals that open, and see what support we can provide to Keshu and her Legionnaires. Now go, mercenary. I hear more fighting inside. Oh good, you're here! A little help, please! Abominations on the balcony! of the ambitions? Tangled roots, what a mess! Well, I ran into a lot of Daedra, but no ambitions. Sombrin must be trying to stay one step ahead of Vandasia's forces. Let's split up. You check the inner bailey, and I'll backtrack to make sure we didn't miss anyone in here. Portals open all around us, and Daedra poured in without warning. Sombrin grabbed Kalia and Destron and blasted their way out of the fight. When you arrived, 
My cousins and I were doing our best to cover their retreat. I'm not sure, but they ran west. The inner Bailey's in that direction. I wouldn't be surprised if Sombrin plans to keep moving. Vandacia will have a hard time finding the ambitions if they don't stand still. Hmm. And so will we. That's awkward. Over here, mercenary! Vandicia's forces... they're everywhere! Sombrin, I sense more of them. They're coming! All of you, under the shield! Keep going! Move! Something. You're only delaying the inevitable. Monster! Because of you, our parents are dead! They were the chosen of Merun's Dagon. Rewarded beyond their station. I'm going to kill you, Vandasia! Who shall I sacrifice first? Perhaps the sister. You leave Kalia alone, you bastard! Yes, John! Ambition, boy. Let me help you fulfill your purpose. Destron! No! Lord Dagon, I return to you the power of this ambition. Let the realms merge so you may walk among us. How easily I shall crush them. Into the keep, quickly. The worlds are merging, Sombrin. There is no escape when you talk. I hate you! Just leave us alone! Talia, you can't unleash your power like that. You could lose control. What does it matter? You saw what he did to Destron. He's going to do the same to us. Broken branches? What happened here? Fondacia sacrificed Destron, allowing Mehrunes Dagon to drag us into his realm. Evelyn, I need the book you're carrying. You know about that? It's part of Dagon. Just like Kalia and me. I sensed it the moment I met you. I think I can use it to weaken Vondacia. Give us a fighting chance. All right. What are you going to do with it? Take the fight to Vondacia in the courtyard. He won't expect that. Meanwhile, I need time to prepare.
Go fight the super powerful Daedric priest? How? Just keep him busy. Then, with the help of this book, I'll take care of the rest. All right. Sombra needs us to buy him some time. Let's get to the courtyard. I can't believe it. He killed my brother. He killed Destron. Listen. Sacrifice me. Let Sombran take my energy. Then you can kill Vondacia and save the fort. But... But my brother and my parents... Vondacia has to pay for that. You were supposed to protect us. You were supposed to save Destron. Then let me help. Sombran has been holding me back. I don't care if I lose control, so long as I take Vandesia with me. Find him. Keep him busy. I'll make sure he pays for Destron. I can't believe we lost Destron. I should have been there. Maybe together we could have saved him. Yes, I'd probably do the same if someone threatened my brother. Have you seen the sky outside? One ambition gave Vandacia enough energy to merge the entire fort with the Deadlands. What could he do with another ambition or two? Right. Should it concern us that he can read the book and it was all gibberish to me? Maybe the whole reason I found it and carried it all this time was so I could give it to Sombra now. Maybe he's meant to use it to stop Dagon. I hope that's true. I can't let Destron's death be for nothing. With this book, I think I can help us defeat Vondacia and once again separate the realms. I can't explain how being an ambition works. I don't really know myself. But I can sense things that are like me, that have the same taint of Dagon upon them. This book practically reeks of it. I think this is the Mysterium Xarxis. Zyna's contracts mentioned it. The rites it describes allowed Vondacia to imbue us with a portion of Dagon's energy. I think he took a little for himself along the way, which is why he's so powerful. I want to try to take that energy away from him. I'm not sure we left Blackwood. The two realms are merging around this fort. We could be on Nern, or in the Deadlands, or maybe someplace in between. If I can weaken Vondacia and you can destroy him, that might break the connection and set us free.